What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and unfortunately, this is gonna be the last iPhone 7 update. I know you guys love them so much, and uh, this is it, I'm wrapping it up, because it's gonna be here in like two or three days. So uh, guys, I'm so excited. The event's gonna introduce the new iPhones, new Apple Watch, iOS 10, possibly some other goodies in there as well. But yeah, there's a few little details that have leaked, actually some pretty important ones. Basically, the entire details of the iPhone 7 have leaked. We know about the new AirPods, the EarPods, we know about the actual specs, the gigahertz of the iPhone. A lot of these cool new features that are gonna be exclusive to the iPhone 7 have leaked. So uh, let's go ahead and get into that and share the last iPhone 7 update with you before release. It is really hot in here, I'm gonna take this off. I actually just wanted to show this in the video because uh, I'm borrowing my friend's sweater. Probably gonna keep it, not gonna give it back to him. Seriously, this thing is uh, amazing. Anyways, so the very first feature we've learned about the iPhone 7, I think this is gonna be a real game changer. Uh, Apple is gonna announce that out of the box, the iPhone 7 will include fire resistance. <laughs> all right, all right, I promise, let's get back on track. So, first things first, Ming-Chi Kao. This guy has actually disappeared from the scene until now, so he's back with new details about the iPhone 7, confirming a whole bunch of things and actually adding to a lot of rumors. So there's gonna be some nice, exciting features he's sharing about the iPhone 7. And man, I pronounced his name wrong again, it's Ming-Chi Ko. All right, so very first thing he's saying about the iPhone 7 is yes, it will have that design that we've seen everywhere. The camera bulge, the lack of antenna bands, get used to it, the headphone jack is gonna be gone. As for actual performance, he's given us numbers. The Apple A10 chip is gonna be using a new fan out process in order to become thinner and get more performance. And an actual gigahertz speed was included, up to 2.4 gigahertz speed on the Apple A10 chip. Guys, that's actually pretty damn impressive. So up until now, I actually made this little chart to let you guys know the growth of the iPhone. There's been growth in like 64 bits, in multi-cores, but as for actual gigahertz jumps, this is gonna be the biggest gigahertz jump ever from an older iPhone to a new one. So look at this, from the original iPhone, there was no change to the second and so on. Now we're gonna be seeing a 550 megahertz increase from the 6S to the 7. That is massive. So it may not be like a huge change in actual usability, but just in number wise, I'm letting you guys know. So I think a big selling point of the iPhone 7 is gonna be the speed. And he does confirm that the iPhone 7 Plus will be receiving the exclusive three gigabytes of RAM. Storage, he did confirm, will start at 32. 16 gigabytes is gone, 128 and 256 gigabytes. Not just one, but two new colors. Ming Chi Kao is confirming this, and I think that is amazing. Great news for anyone looking to upgrade, get a change in the look. And two colors being dark black and piano black. So dark black will actually be replacing space gray. I think it's sad to see a go, would have liked to see these two added on, but hey, this is gonna be a sexy color. Now, besides this, the other color is piano black. That's that glossy black color I talked about in my last update video. So uh, all the rumors are starting to make sense. They're combining, they are gonna see two new colors on the iPhone 7, that is awesome. And this leak was also confirmed last week by that image of the SIM card trays, so it's all coming together nicely now. He did also confirm that all of the new screen technology from the iPad Pro will be migrating to the iPhone 7. So we will be seeing new display improvements, just not in the resolution side. We're gonna be seeing the new True Tone display feature, which will put new sensors on the top of the display and it'll act as a better night shift. Basically your surrounding ambience is what's gonna dictate the color temperature of your display instead of the current time and the time zone you're in. Also the new display will support P3 color gamuts, available on the iMacs, on the iPad Pro, and now on the iPhone. You're gonna be able to see the colors of that fantastic camera better on that display. The cameras are to remain at 12 megapixels. He did also confirm that the 7 Plus will have optical zoom, so that's great news. And by his words, he said it will have light field camera applications. So we're getting closer to where DSLR will really be in your pocket. Maybe it'll have a lot of features, more depth of field with the camera, who knows. But it will be getting closer to a DSLR. For as long as I've been making videos, people have always been saying, this iPhone is almost DSLR-like quality. So that's nothing new to me, and especially with this. But who knows, maybe this year it'll actually mean something. Even the flash unit on the back of the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus is getting reimagined. So it's gonna have four LEDs now versus two, two for cooler and two for warmer, better true tone flash. So you'll be able to see further in the dark, better low light capability for taking pictures all around great updates to the camera. And moving away from KGI, there have been two separate leaks of the packaging for the iPhone 7 Plus. On both of these, there are differences. And the differences being, one comes bundled with Lightning EarPods, the other comes with Lightning AirPods. So those little wireless ones we've seen that are gonna get lost in like two hours, Samsung already has their own version, so it's only fair that the iPhone 7 is gonna get its own. And it seems like it's gonna be a package you can select 
select on the ordering site. So you're gonna be able to get different packaging for the iPhone depending on which option you check. So AirPods, the wireless ones with Bluetooth, or EarPods, the ones that are wired, and you're actually gonna get an adapter in the box confirmed by this packaging. This one actually kind of surprised me. I was not expecting this. So on the bottom of the models for the 7 and 7 Plus, we've been seeing those dual speaker setups. However, one of them is not a dual speaker. So it's still gonna have one speaker. It'll be a mono speaker iPhone. The other slot is purely for aesthetic purposes. KGI, again, back to Ming-Chi Kuo, he's saying that one of these is gonna house a improved force touch controller. So it's gonna be an entire sensor in that spot to improve 3D touch on the display. So possibly we're gonna be seeing some sort of second generation 3D touch. But either way, that was a little bit surprising to me. So the speaker, it will not have two speakers, just one. However, he did confirm that they are improving the output of the current speaker with a new amplifier in the circuitry somewhere. So we're gonna be seeing better audio, just not through dual speakers. So in earlier videos, I did talk a lot about the proximity sensor on the front of the new iPhone 7. Now Ming Chi Kao is confirming that this new sensor is getting an upgrade from LCD tech to laser tech. So it'll have faster response time and it'll be able to recognize further away like gestures. He's saying there could be some sort of hand gestures that'll come with it uh, that Apple will implement into iOS 10 for the iPhone 7. Either way, kind of exciting. So a new proximity sensor, and this still might be elongated. This piece, the earpiece, might be a little bit longer to house those sensors. We don't know for sure yet. Waterproofing, this is the one I was excited about to hear confirmed from this guy, IPX7 rating. So it's not quite at Samsung's level, but it will help you get a meter underwater with your iPhone without any damage for up to 30 minutes. Now, I'm not saying you should do that, but basically by spec, that's what you can do. It's basically matching the Apple Watch rating. So if you guys remember, I tested this thing. We dropped it down to 10 feet for 30 minutes. I think it was 30 minutes and it survived. I mean, it was doing great. And I'm always surprised that the Apple Watch has such a weak rating, but it holds up against water very, very well. So to see that on an iPhone, oh, I'll test it all right, but that's a good rating to have. Now the X in that rating basically stands for no dust resistance. So it's not gonna have dust resistance, but water resistance will be there. So Digitimes is relaying a report that the Iris scanner, which was rumored to happen in 2018 on that iPhone, will actually be happening sooner in 2017 with next year's iPhone. The huge redesign will have the Iris scanner with it. I think Apple's logic behind that is like, why wait if the tech is here? It's already available in the Note 7 and uh, it's here. We just put it in the iPhone next year with the major redesign. And not directly iPhone 7 related, but the Apple Watch is getting announced in just two days as well. And leaked components showed up from the Apple Watch 2 showing a bigger battery. 35% increase in battery life, a thinner display to actually make it fit in the housing. We're probably gonna be seeing the same housing uh, thickness, so it's not gonna get any thinner, but it will have better battery life. Other features confirmed are barometer, better water resistance, and a GPS sensor built in. Not cellular like earlier rumored. But guys, there it is, the iPhone 7, two days. I just wanted to you know, fill you guys in on the whole keynote before Apple even announces it. But if they manage to surprise me with anything, that'll be awesome because I think we pretty much know everything there is to know already. And I'm actually gonna be making a video after the event to talk about things that we got right and wrong. So the point of all of these videos, all the rumors and leaks, how much of it was true and how much of it was just fluff, you know, stuff that didn't come true. I'm kind of curious myself. So I'll be sure to do that. But I hope you guys got informed. Sorry for spoiling the keynote for you. I'll see you guys in a couple days. Peace.